Terminator 2 crushed the competition again this weekend, winding up in first place. It has brought in more than $115 million in just two and a half weeks. Those esteemed dudes, Bill and Ted, had an excellent opening in second place. 101 Dalmatians, Boys in the Hood, and Regarding Henry fill out the top five. On their latest bogus journey, Bill and Ted are reaping the benefits of a totally grim co-star. You have sunk my better ship. Excellent! Actor William Sadler most excellently plays death in this off-the-wall Bill and Ted sequel. You must play me again. What? Um, best two out of three. Sadler had a wonderful time playing the Grim Reaper, which he said was a novel experience for him. I've never played anybody as silly as this, or as fun as this. I mean, I come from a different background entirely, I and mean, it's like, you know, the training and the stage and so on. So coming to this, um, it's been very, uh, um, you know, energizing. Because you never know which way the scene's gonna go. You never know what's gonna happen. Shoot the rehearsal because it may never happen again. Action! You may not recognize Sadler in his Reaper robes and makeup, but he has played a string of baddies, killing hundreds of people. In his last film, he played the evil Colonel Stewart, matching lies with Bruce Willis in Die Hard 2. For him, it was only a logical step to graduate to the Grim Reaper role. Die Hard 2 killed maybe 250, 300 people, something like that. And now, death, you know, the Grim Reaper, who's killed everybody who ever died. So it, it seems like a natural progression to me. I'm not sure where you go from here. I may have, I may have peaked. Oh, what a dude. During filming, Sadler had to make an unexpected trip from the set to see his doctor. He says he got treated very quickly in record time because no one wants the Grim Reaper sitting around a doctor's office.